guys, we're starting out here with stationary pounds. We're just going right hand into the ground, nice wide base for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna switch to our left hand. Switch to your left. You're going to start out just going back and forth, getting a nice rhythm, and then as you pick up speed, your hands are going to go wider, working on that rhythm, change of pace, change of dribble. So again, we're going to start nice and slow. We're getting a rhythm and then as we progress, we're going to get our body more involved and try and increase that shiftiness. see here for the last 30 seconds I start to move more. I'm stepping with that same foot and letting that ball hit the ground at the same time as my foot which will really help with your shiftiness and getting that rhythm that you see those NBA players play with. to pound between now so same thing in the beginning we want to go nice and slow get that rhythm and then we gradually increase to where we're moving game speed <music> seconds into it so I'm starting to move a little bit faster uh, with this one we're going opposite foot drag with a snatch back so you're letting that opposite foot hit around the same time that you're pounding and then you're snatching it back through the legs really push yourself with this one go game speed the last 15 20 seconds <laughs> We did crossover between and now we're doing pound behind the back. So again, we're starting out stationary, starting slow, getting our rhythm. And then as we progress, we're moving into game speed about halfway through this drill. So here, just getting the rhythm, and then same thing as the cross, we're going same step and then snatching it back behind our back. Get the rhythm and then start to move as fast as you can, game speed. <laughs> Now we're 
putting it all together, we are doing cross between behind the back. The nice thing with this one is, is when you end the set, it's automatically in the opposite hand, so you're working both sides equally. seconds in and really start to push yourself gain speed uh, for myself I really found my rhythm with this one I think because it is working both sides equally it allows you to really go hard push yourself and really makes for a great conditioning drill as well workout we are working on some between the legs variations so this one we're just bouncing up on the balls of our feet and then we are just getting the rhythm of pounding that ball through our legs so bounce a couple times and then slam it through your legs with a gentle drop just to get that rhythm the next one we're going to get lower and then the last one we're going to put it all together drop um, but we are just now dropping that back leg low so we want to try and get that knee pretty much down to the ground and we want to drop that shoulder you can see here in the beginning I'm just trying to get the rhythm and then I start moving a lot faster start dropping that knee getting it low this one's really tough because your hips are often really tight and we don't stretch those enough uh, so this really forces you to open up your hips and drop that knee This one was pretty tough actually. I realized that I really haven't been training that rhythm at all. Um, so it took a little bit to get the hang of it, but it's a between and then snatching it back right away. So you really got to push yourself. Good core workout here. Let that arm swing out and then snatch it back. We're going 30 seconds to the left and then 30 seconds to the right, same thing. Mm -hmm. 